Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. <laughs> oh, when's the last time I've done a video? I have no idea. But all I know is I'm glad to be back, but I'm also nervous, which is very strange, I think, because I haven't been in front of the camera for a little while. I'm feeling like, oh, oh, oh. What am I gonna say? Am I gonna do something wrong? Am I gonna say something wrong? So yeah, this is gonna be a very easy video. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Christmas. I know it's very late because Christmas is long gone, but yeah, like I said, easing myself into things and I've got some amazing pieces to share with you guys. So before we get into that, if you are not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you never ever miss a video. If you love luxury and fashion, then you're in the right place. Without further ado, let's dive into the lovely Cardi that I have sitting right here on my lap. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this is a Kate cardigan, okay? Look at this. I have one. Finally, sorry, one, I have two. I've got two Kate cardigans and this was the first one that I purchased. I'm in love, okay? This isn't the traditional scarlet cardigan that you would see everywhere. This is actually the Lucy. Now the difference between the Lucy and the Scarlet is the fact that the Lucy has two extra buttons added onto it. So it's much longer. But I'm in love. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me get super duper excited because I actually saw this on the Kate website in the sale and it was just by chance. I was skimming through, you know, not even thinking, yeah, I'm gonna find this in there and I found it and I was so excited to get it that when I placed the order, I had actually emailed Kate and I'm gonna put up the screenshots here. I emailed them to ask them if it was actually still in stock because I couldn't believe this was in the sale and it was in stock. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was one of those things, it's like, no way, no chance. This is such a classic, timeless piece, and it's so beautiful. I've always thought about this cardigan, but I could never ever justify spending the price that it actually is at. Um, so it was one of those things which I was admiring from afar, but whenever I did see it, I'm like, oh my gosh, one day, one day, one day, one day. So I feel like this was just a whole manifestation <laughs> over the last few months. No, I since the day I tried it on in one of my old vlogs, okay? That's how long ago. The quality is unbelievable. It's just so, so, so nice. So I'm super duper duper, like beyond <laughs> ecstatic to finally have this. This is 100% cashmere, by the way. No, 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 sorry, sorry. This isn't 100% cashmere, which did baffle me a little bit because on the website, it actually says 100% cashmere. But in here, it says 95% cashmere and 5% elastic, elastane. Ugh. This is normal for some of the cardigans. I think it's probably maybe to do with the colors. It still feels just as good and just as luxurious as the 100% cashmere one. I then have the actual Scarlet cardigan. I could not resist, okay? <laughs> I just couldn't resist. And I know you get people saying, oh, you know, they bubble a lot and so on and so forth. I actually very recently bought one of those shaving de-bubbling thingies because I've been investing in my cashmere very recently. So I wanna make sure that it stays in tip top condition. So yeah, it's just a quick shave on the thing and it looks as good as new, literally. I was like, wow, <laughs> I love it. And it's very therapeutic to do it. So I'm not too worried about bubbling on these anyway because I've got that little shaving machine. The small fits me perfectly and it gives me the, the kind of fit that I like on some occasions. Sometimes you want something that hugs your body and, and shows your frame a little bit more. That's what the Lucy does for me. The Scarlet, however, I got this in a size medium because I don't always wanna be tight and restricted and I actually like the loose fit. So it depends on how I'm feeling and, and you know, that's why I felt like justified as well because it kind of gives a different vibe completely when you go a bigger size up. And again, it's not too big on me or anything. It has slightly bigger sleeves and looser around my shoulder area, I would say. My Lucy cardigan isn't as like loose around the arm area, but it's fine. This one is very, very loose and looks more relaxed, but you still get that beautiful tailored shape and it still shows your shape off really, really well. It's just not as tight as the size small. I just, I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> I love, love, love it. 
I love my brands, I love my neutrals. This with a pair of jeans, with a pair of anything will just look so, 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 so good. On to some Chanel. Now, I actually mentioned these in my vintage Chanel unboxing and um, you guys, I got the earrings that I was talking about. I literally got them just before Christmas and they come in this lovely Chanel vintage box. You can tell it's like so old. <laughs> I'll show you the inside in a minute, but yeah, look at this. It's such an old box. These were the second vintage earrings that I had actually ordered and was waiting for. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning. This is definitely another thing which is going to be new for me this year. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. If it's giving me granny vibes, I don't care. I will stick with my granny vibes. I like to look like a granny. This is it for me. This is definitely gonna be something that I think going forward, it's gonna be part of my style. <laughs> I love big vintage earrings like this. I just, I love them. I love them, love them, love them so, 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 so much. Some people hate them. Some people really like them and think, you know what? It's cool, it's different, it's like, what word did she use? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what word she used, but she used a, a good word. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. I wish everyone else felt the way you did. But anyways, um, I really, really like it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be adding a lot more vintage jewelry to my collection. These are 24 karat plated gold. So they will last a very, very, very long time. These are from 1994. 1994, and they look like this, you know? This is why, like I, for me, and, and it's like I said in my previous video, it's very much a new obsession that I have. And the reason why I have this like new obsession with this particular jewelry is because of the fact that the quality is not the same nowadays. I don't mind spending 700, 500 pounds or however much <laughs> a particular pair of earrings are if I know that I will be able to wear them. Like these I've been wearing non-stop since I bought them. Every time I go out, I'm wearing them, apart from when I go to the gym, obviously. But like, usually I've always got earrings in my ears and because these are clip-ons, I can't put my other earrings in. But because I love wearing them so much, there's no point in putting in other earrings. So I'm either earring less, like so, or I've got these on and usually it's these when I'm dressed up and ready to go out somewhere. My next piece, people. Woo, woo, woo. I'm still in shock a little bit because this is the most money that I've ever spent on a pair of jeans, you guys, okay? <sighs> Look at these bad boys. I'm just <laughs> so happy to have these, okay? I had actually ordered them just before Christmas and it was literally just by chance I had ordered the new season and they only had a size 38 in these so I ordered a two pairs of the new seasons because I wasn't sure which one would have fitted me a size 38 and a size 36 and then I ordered a size well the only size 38 in this one now when I had received them I had actually tried on the new season jeans and those are kind of like cropped, they're quite fitted, well on me anyway, because I have big legs. Um, they high rise, and I wasn't a fan of the way that they looked on me because of the fact that I'm obviously short. <laughs> they didn't look great, so I returned those. However, I did keep these ones. The problem with these were was the fact that even though they were a size 38, they were massive on me, okay? I've never ever, tried on a size 38 jean and had it be so, so ridiculously big. Usually 38 fits, but is a little bit too big around the waist. This was like a, I don't know, a size 12 or 14, but I kept these anyway because I thought, let me give a call to Luebe and find out if they do any altering because in my town, I, I would never, I'd have to go into London to get it. Thing and I just I was like I can't be bothered to do all that palaver it's probably gonna cost a lot and I don't want to risk it because if they do mess up the jeans then what am I gonna do you know they're an expensive pair of jeans do I really want to risk it blah 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 da, 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 da. so I called up Loewe to ask them if they do any tailoring and if they'd be able to tailor the jeans they're like yeah sure bring them in we do offer a tailoring service there'll be a charge for it anyways I go in I'm like, okay, tell me how much this charge is because that's gonna determine whether I'm gonna keep these jeans or not. <laughs> the guy looks at me and is like, no, there is no charge. All our Loewe customers 
get the, you know, the tailoring, the altering for free, whether it's from the website or not. And I was like, oh, somebody told me that you have to pay for it. He said, no, 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 <laughs> you don't have to pay for it. That was like, yes. <laughs> Showed him the jeans and was like, I don't know if this is gonna be too much and if it's gonna be possible. Went to go try them on, pinned them, and I literally just picked them up this last weekend. And when I say, when I put them on, my friend was with me, we were both like, oh my gosh, they look so, so good. <laughs> she asked me how much they were and I was like, you don't wanna know. I didn't get the bottoms tailored because I like the way that they sit baggy at the ankles over the, the heel. I will definitely be wearing these with a heel, always. They fit my waist really nicely. I kept two centimeters extra on the waist. So you guys can see like, there's a little bit of give there, but that's because in case I put on weight in the future, or like, this is, I think ahead guys. I'm not gonna spend 700 pounds on a pair of jeans and not think about my future because <laughs> The last thing I would want is to spend 700 pounds, have it fit perfectly, and then in a year, two, three, five, six, however many years time, these jeans don't fit me anymore because they're too small. So I have put the extra room and made sure that there's extra room in the waistline. Last but not least, we have the orange bag, which probably everyone saw in the thumbnail and was like, hmm, I wonder what she got. And if you watched my last vlog, I did mention that I was picking up something from Hermes. This was a little present from husband because <clears throat> originally he had bought me this bangle right over here, but I don't wear bracelets, okay? Like at all. So I was like, don't, 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 don't. Just, just return the bracelet. I know something else you could buy me that I actually would use. And in here we have, I haven't seen this since I picked it up from store, so <laughs> it's been a while, guys. I've been saving everything for you. I got this beautiful, 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 beautiful green Calvi card holder. <gasps> you guys, look at this color. And it's not just a normal color green because on the inside you have, pow! <laughs> you have this, I don't even know what color that is, oh my gosh. Do you know what? When you see something in different lights, it looks like a different light. You guys know with Hermes colors, it's like it's never the color that you think it is. Let me get the names of the colors because I'm not entirely sure what they are. I, need, I know one of them is Vert Fizz, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Okay, we have Vert Comics and Vert Fizz. Now, if I'm not mistaken, mistaking, this is Vert Comics and then the inside is Vert Fizz. Fizz. And Vert Fizz right now is looking a little bit like white. <laughs> so, <laughs> Vert Fizz is like a, a really, 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 really light pastel green, but like really faint. Now, the reason why I got this is actually because of my mini Kelly. Let me show you. Usually, my card holder is my big, thick, chunky Chanel card holder. That is no good for this bag. When I put this one in, it keeps a lot more space available. So just that little bit of extra room goes a long way in a mini curly, okay? <laughs> Those of you that have one will know how tiny this bag really is. So that's the reason why I got this. And actually, many, many months ago, a subscriber was the one who actually said, why don't you get the Calvi? Because it will enable you to, to fit a lot more in your mini Kelly. So thank you to whoever that person is, if you are watching it, because it was so long ago, I don't remember who it is and I don't remember what video it was on. I always tend to go for the bright colors. I had an option of a couple of neutral colors, but I wasn't a fan of them, first of all. And second of all, I feel like it's so much easier to identify things when they're in bright colors. So my red Bastia coin purse, that's like straight away, I've got it two seconds you know if I've got a big bag and I've got loads of stuff in it it's so easily identifiable and you know you don't need a lot of light whereas if you're let's say in low lighting you have a big bag with tons of stuff in it and your coin purses your card holders those are all in a neutral color it'll be much harder to find amongst everything so yeah that's why I tend to go for like bright wonderful happy colors <laughs> I love this color green, it's so, so beautiful. And that concludes everything that I got for Christmas from my lovely husband and myself. I think after the accident, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go on a shopping spree and just... <laughs> and I, I bought the things that I was looking at months ago thinking, I would love, I would really, really like, but I can't justify it. I thought, you, you only live once, why not? I don't know if you heard my belly, but I hope not. <laughs> 
Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week, and I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Take care. Bye.